Hello Cellist, this is your practice video for The Two Grenadiers by Robert Schumann from Suzuki Book 2. Um, this one uses a lot of extended ones, so if you want to go back and review the backward extension technique video and blog that I have on learntoplaycello.com, I think that will really come in handy. You can also do the exercise, the Moon Over Ruin um, Castle exercise that's in the Suzuki book. When you're doing your backward extensions, two, three, four, and thumbs stay stable, first finger reaches back. So you've got to create some independence. Make sure it reaches back far enough. It's a farther extension than most people think. Um, so there are also some tricky bowings in this particular piece. I want to start pick up to measure 11. This is where it says piano agitato. We're going to start on the up bow D at the end of that diminuendo. Reach back. Make sure it's low enough. Make sure your thumb is still under where two would be and not back here. If it slid back, then you shift it instead of extend it, okay? So, down again, up again. I would take those three, four measures and just put a bracket over them and do them every day until you get used to the extensions, keeping fingers down, the down downs, the up ups, the lifts. There's a lot in there. Let's do it one more time together. And. Hit your down, 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 down again, up, up again, lift. Okay, there's a lot in there. Hopefully you're being careful about which direction you use your bow. If you go on, we have a similar section, pick up to measure 19 right before it says piumoso. And so let's start there. This is an easier one, but still worth looking at. Down again. Students love to play that wrong. Um, they look, it's easy to do this. It puts you down bow on the downbeat. It keeps you from having to do the down downs. But in the end, you'll wish that you hadn't. And so try to make sure right where it says PMO so that you get that down down. Two Grenadiers includes the rhythm that we've learned in, um, in the previous piece, the Witch's Dance, right? We've got a lot of these dotted 8, 16. So I want to work on this very opening for you. It's hard to get that fourth finger to the extended one back to the fourth finger. Try to keep your thumb down so it can become sort of the hinge that your hand moves on. We don't, I don't ask my students to keep their fourth finger down while they play extended one, even though technically you can. Um, you just need a really big, strong hand to do it. But you can keep your thumb down, and that'll help you to not lose four when you grab extended one. So see if we can do it with the uh, with the rhythm. <laughs> Keep your thumb down. Because you're going to have to do it again. All right. There's your practice video, or excuse me, your previous video for the two Grenadiers.